Hi friends, welcome to the Trinity. My name is Ratan. Yeah, uh, guys, we are discussing Spring Boot videos, right? Yeah, guys, one person is commented last class. Uh, Sir, can please show me how to install the STS ID? Maybe I feel that you know some installation process STS ID. But okay, in this video, let me show like you know how to install like uh, STS ID and how to start the STS ID, how to launch the STS ID. So STS ID full STS full form is what? STS means what? Spring Tool Suite ID, right? As STS ID. Today I'm planning to take the model and model and model and view object. But by seeing that comment, uh, I decided just to let me go for this uh, installation of STS ID. Okay, this is like Spring Tool Suite ID. The Spring Tool Suite ID. Because we know ID, right? What is ID full form here? Integrated Development Environment. So ID, Integrated Development Environment, right? Exactly. Okay, today let me install some STS ID. Uh, to install STS ID, go for the official website here. Yeah? In official website, just you can type the spring dot. Uh, tell me guys, we need to type the yeah spring dot. Tell me guys, spring dot io slash. We can type the tools. Okay, spring is spring dot io. The website is spring dot io. In that spring dot io, we have the tools, right? Click on the tools. Because directly I open the official website, spring.io slash tools. We can type this URL, guys. Got the point, right? Yeah. Uh, then we can go for the directly Spring Tools ID. Spring Tool, uh, Spring Tools for the Visual Studio. And Spring Tool 4 for the Eclipse ID, right? Guys, we need to download the Spring Tools 4 for Eclipse ID. You got the point, right? Spring Tools for Eclipse ID, right? Yeah. Guys, can you please click on the Windows 86 and 64. It's showing the Linux, Linux ARM, Mac OS, Mac OS ARM, Windows, Windows 86 and 64. Guys, click on this. Guys, once if you click on this, the download will start. Guys, check this download here. So my internet speed is a bit uh, good. So it's so a 500 MB file. 500 MB file, it is downloaded, right? Guys, you'll get a jar file actually. Guys, you got the point, right? Just you can type the website name is what spring dot. Tell me here what website name? Spring dot io slash tools. Okay, so it will download what? It will download the jar file, right? It will what we can say here? Download the jar file, guys. Guys, it will download the jar file. Once downloaded the jar file, uh, just you can check the downloads here. Yeah, show in folder downloads folder right this is the jar file guys let me copy this jar file otherwise let me cut this jar file here in desktop let me create the new folder i'll show you the process once let's click on this this is a new folder uh sts folder right <clears throat> yeah sts folder guys here you can place the jar file so once if you done the downloading process the jar file is downloaded guys spring good tool should executable jar file guys can you please extract the jar file so right click extract here extract all see guys we have the extraction software like winrare software if you have the winrare software uh, right click here uh, winrare extract here we can do like this otherwise some people don't have the interest software that's what directly extract all right maybe you know how to extract the file huh? that is okay because winrare extract here because extra winrare means it taking very less time to extract the file because once if you extract this file you will get these all the items Guys, wait for the extraction. Once we extract the jar file, you will get one more zip file, guys. That zip file is called contents.zip file. Guys, can you see the contents.zip file here? Yeah, once if you extract the jar file, you will get the contents.zip file, guys. At the point, right? So, can you please extract this contents.zip again? Okay. Uh, extract the jar file. Tell me, guys, extract the Tell me, extract the jar file, we will get uh, contents dots, mm, contents dot what, zip file. Extract the content dot zip file, right? Extract the uh, content, contents dot zip file. Extract the content dot zip file, guys. We will get STS folder. We will get what? STS folder, right? Yeah. If you want, you can see, I extracted jar file, you got these values. At right click on the contents.zip file, uh, what we can say, a content.zip file, and like winrar, winrar extract here, right? Yeah, you can extract here, content.zip file. 
guys once if I extract here can you see the XTS 4.20.0 release yeah this is the main file STS folder extract the jar file you will get the contents folder extract the content folder you will get the STS folder Very clear right yeah this is uh, WinRAR only taking this much time means if you don't have WinRAR it will take too much time guys you got the point huh? yeah open this STS ID once if you open this STS ID guys there we can see one symbol like you know li, uh, this STS symbol, STS symbol open this still it is loading yeah why it is taking this much time maybe <clears throat> guys sts2 sts open still the file is not coming actually what file you'll get me this is a symbol you'll get actually this is sts tool suit 4 spring tool suit 4 <clears throat> so extraction is going on so guys this extraction is okay fine you open this sts folder there we cannot see the file actually you'll get the file so just you can see how much time Time left 22, 22 minutes. Ah. No, 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 time left. I think it may not take this much time in your systems. You install the WinRAR software and try to do the process. Okay, guys, open the STS folder. Once if you open the STS folder, you'll get this symbol, guys. This is a symbol. I think in my system that folder is there in the local disk E. Got the point? This is STS folder. Here the STS folder contains this is a jar file. I extract the jar file, you get the condensed.zip. Extract the condensed.zip, we'll get the STS 4.14. Just now we have the uh, just now we have the 20, right? This is the 14 in my system. So this is jar file, this is one. Because once if you open this, you'll get this one is a Spring Tool Suit 4. Guys, can you see right? Spring Tools for suit four, right? Spring Tools suit four. <clears throat> Is it clear now? Spring Tools suit four, right? You'll get the support like this. Spring Tools suit four. Uh, open this, guys. Once if you open this, then it is asking launch the workspace, right? <clears throat> yeah, Spring Tools suit four. We'll get this. Uh, okay, the symbol. Spring Tools suit four. VMware. After that. yeah we got this workspace right i hope you know how to give the workspace location i give the workspace is what i'm youtube example right once you click on the launch the stas side is launched right exactly <coughs> guess i clear now i'm showing the process one more time just if you want you can see go for the spring.io.io spring.io slash tools from the spring spring.io slash tool uh, go for this one and you click on the windows 686 64 once it is done jar file is downloaded once the jar is downloaded extract the jar file once if you extract the jar file you will get the tell me what you will get uh condensed.zip file you will get open this can um, once you extract the jar file you get the condensed.zip extract the content.zip you get the sts folder in this sts folder we have the symbol like this is the executable file you open this file it is asking workspace after giving the workspace click on the launch once you click on the launch, the application starts, right? Guys, the application starts. <clears throat> Clear, right? Good. Guys, to send this uh, to the desktop, I want to send this icon to the desktop. To send this icon to the desktop, uh, right click on this file, open show more option, show more option, send it to desktop. Yes, you got the point, right? Just to need to send this, uh, send to the desktop. Then what happened? Create the shortcut in desktop, right? So then shortcut is created in the desktop, right? Exactly. Okay, sorry, clear now? Yeah, this is the way how to go for the STS ID. Because all of you please install the STS ID and do the practicals using STS ID only. So don't do the practicals using Eclipse ID. Most of the guys are doing Eclipse ID practicals. I mean, paid faculties will teach like that because they never work for the real time. Huh? You got the point, right? So even when you run the code in the STS, uh, Eclipse ID, there is no Spring Boot application. It's saying the Java application. Are you running the Java application or are you running the Spring Boot application? Tell me, are you running the Java application, Spring Boot application? 
and even if you are watching my videos in that videos i shown like you know sts id is just sts id is good or uh, what eclipse id is good come on yaar yeah, you should change the process huh? yeah so thank you guys thanks for watching like the video comment the video subscribe to our channel to get the more videos bye